Welcome to another update on the royal family. We've got some interesting news about Harry and Meghan that's causing quite a stir. Rumor has it that the couple might be taking a break from each other. Harry was recently spotted alone at a racetrack in the US, which has raised some eyebrows. Meanwhile, Meghan seems to be making moves in Hollywood, spending a lot of time at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Is she planning a big comeback in showbiz? In other real news, William and Catherine are turning heads in the fashion world. They've been named the best-dressed celebrity couple globally by the British fashion line Karen Millen. This impressive title comes after analyzing over 5 million social media posts and online searches. Talk about setting trends. But back to Harry and Meghan. Luella Alderson, a relationship expert, shared her thoughts with The Mirror, suggesting that Meghan might be looking for a new partner in Hollywood. Alderson commented, she has got all she wants from Harry, a ticket to a life she wouldn't have had otherwise. She believes the couple's relationship has been strained for some time and that Meghan will soon move on. Alderson expressed concern about Harry's situation, describing it as no win. Amidst all this, there's also curiosity around the couple's children, Archie and Lilibet. They've been out of the public eye, leading to speculations and questions about their well-being. It's a tumultuous time for the royal family, with each member navigating their unique challenges and triumphs. As always, we'll keep you updated with any new developments in their lives. Let's dive into the latest buzz around Harry and Meghan. Everyone thought their move to America was about crafting a simple, family-oriented life. But it seems there's more to the story. They're still in the spotlight, actively seeking fame and new career opportunities. This raises a question, with all this hustle, who's looking after the kids? Megan's recent late arrival at the Invictus Games, blaming it on a milkshake run for the kids, only adds to the intrigue. Their lifestyle doesn't seem to match that of typical parents who balance work and family life. There's also speculation about Megan's personal life. Some wonder if she's open to new relationships, even while married to Harry. The couple's situation raises eyebrows, especially considering their relatively private family life. Now, let's talk about Meghan's past and how it might be shaping her present. Growing up biracial with a loving father and a mother who faced her own challenges, Meghan's upbringing was complex. Despite their support, Meghan's relationship with her family seems strained today. Her father was particularly indulgent, always trying to fulfill her wishes. But when it comes to her social circle, whether it's high school, university, or her sorority, those who knew her don't seem eager to claim a close friendship with her. This background has led to discussions about Meghan's future, especially in terms of her financial and social strategies. As we try to understand the dynamics of Harry and Meghan's life, their past and present choices remain a topic of fascination and debate. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the unfolding story of this high-profile couple. Let's delve into a hot topic that's been making rounds. Is Meghan Markle a narcissist? It's a big question, and while it's tempting to label her based on what we've read and seen, we're not qualified to diagnose. After all, we're not psychologists, and only a professional can make such a diagnosis. But why are people even considering this idea? It probably stems from general observations and behaviors noted by the public. To understand this better, let's refer to John Douglas, a renowned expert in criminal personality profiling. In his 1997 book Journey into Darkness, Douglas discusses psychopaths and their attitudes. He writes, murder, a premeditated act willfully committed by a sane individual with a character disorder such that, while he knew the difference between right and wrong, he wasn't going to let that moral distinction get in his way. This insight highlights the complexity of distinguishing between psychopathy and antisocial personality disorder, which often appear intertwined. Now, let's talk about the concept of narcissism, particularly its more malignant form. This is not not just about self-aggrandizement or a lack of empathy. Malignant narcissism is a step further, involving destructive tendencies. Understanding these traits is crucial to avoid falling prey to manipulative behaviors. Regular narcissism often includes self-centeredness and manipulation, but pathological narcissism is a more extreme version, with additional layers of complexity. So, 
While the debate about Meghan's personality traits continues, it's important to approach such discussions with caution and the understanding that only a professional can provide a definitive diagnosis. As we explore these intriguing aspects of personality and behavior, remember that speculation should not replace professional evaluation. Stay tuned for more insights and discussions on these fascinating topics. The saga surrounding Harry and Meghan continues to captivate many, often likened to a gripping, albeit tragic, drama. There's a growing perception that Meghan's behavior aligns with characteristics of malignant narcissism, a severe form of the condition that shares traits with psychopathy. Such individuals can pose significant risks in personal relationships. This perspective has fueled speculation about why Meghan and Harry are no longer using Frogmore Cottage and why Harry seems distanced from his family. Watching their story unfold is like observing a dramatic, unpredictable narrative. There have also been rumors about Meghan's interactions with her acquaintances. Some claim she has a history of gathering damaging information on former friends to leverage favors. These claims suggest a need for caution around her, advising vigilance for those who might welcome her into their homes. Concerns about potential invasions of privacy, like unauthorized snooping or even the use of hidden cameras, have been raised. Moreover, there's a belief that when other manipulative tactics fail, individuals with malignant narcissism may resort to more extreme measures, including violence, to achieve their goals. This viewpoint has led some to conclude that Megan fits this profile, a topic of discussion for quite some time. The differentiation between ordinary narcissism and its malignant counterpart has been crucial in shaping this narrative. For Harry, this presents a complex situation. His quoted phrase, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets, has been cited as indicative of the dynamics within their relationship. As this story continues, the public remains hooked on every development, keen to see how it all plays out. Stay tuned as we keep you updated on these unfolding events in the royal family's life. There's a lot of talk about Meghan Markle's behavior and what it signifies. Some say she exhibits traits of grandiosity, believing she stands above others. This is seen in her insistence on being addressed as Duchess and her desire for her children to be referred to with royal titles. But is this just about maintaining her public image? Or is there more to it? Concerns about her temperament have also been raised. Reports suggest she has had outbursts of anger, including throwing tea at staff members during a visit to Australia. Such incidents paint a picture of someone who might struggle to manage their emotions effectively. Then there's the accusation of her being manipulative, particularly in her relationship with Harry. Her interview where she claimed mistreatment by the royal family is often cited as an example of this. Her ability to influence public perception and narrative is something that many find intriguing and, for some, concerning. Meghan's sense of responsibility, or lack thereof, has also been a topic of discussion, especially regarding her business dealings, like the Spotify deal. She was expected to produce content, but reportedly fell short, leading to questions about her commitment and work ethic. Another point often discussed is her risk-taking behavior. Meghan has been accused of making easily disprovable statements, like the alleged near-catastrophic car chase, which many view as reckless. This tendency to take risks, even when the truth is easily verifiable, adds another layer to the public's perception of her character. As these stories and speculations continue, the public remains captivated by Meghan's actions and the impact they have on her life and those around her. The unfolding narrative of her life keeps many people eagerly awaiting the next chapter. Stay with us for more updates and insights into these ongoing developments. The ongoing saga with Meghan Markle continues to spark debate and speculation. A major talking point is whether her actions align with malignant narcissism. This is a complex and serious accusation, and while some might see patterns in her behavior, it's essential to remember that we're not qualified to make clinical diagnoses. Meghan's actions, particularly those that garner a lot of media attention, are often seen as indicative of her seeking the spotlight. But, as with any public figure, there's always more than meets the eye. It's essential to consider the complexities of her situation and the pressures she faces. Regarding the potential for violent behavior, it's a serious claim to make about anyone, and it's important to approach such topics with care and without jumping to conclusions. While we all have our opinions and perceptions based on what we see in red, it's vital to remember the human aspect and the fact that public figures are more than just their media portrayal. 
As this story continues to unfold, it remains a topic of intense public interest. We encourage you to form your own opinions based on the information available, keeping in mind the difference between public perception and personal reality. This story, like many others involving public figures, is a blend of fact, speculation, and personal interpretation. Stay engaged and informed as more details emerge.